director of this program and having run the studio with all the all the uh, students here, I'm really thrilled actually about what you've all produced for the exhibition. So um, it's all come together. It was like a, a, it was a difficult brief that it sent in home, but I think all all the groups have like come up with some really interesting ideas around what could happen in the future with technology actually controlling different kinds of things in the in the home environment and so I mean this work I fund as you said an amusing robot it actually is and um, to try and interact with this robot through a really limited range of vocabulary but then when you finally do get some kind of response it's very satisfying and it's great <laughs> Hello, how are you? In our project, we're, we're trying to build a, an amusing robot that's not only a domestic entertaining robot that expands the enjoyable experience in life, but also a member of your family. It's, it's, it's embedded with some face detection system and uh, actually track, tracking your face when you, yeah, when you um, actually seeing the robot. And, uh, we are pro providing some yeah, incoming events, some music and other, you know, enjoyable elements. And in the future expectations, um, we think this robot system could apply himself into various kinds of uh, domestic rituals, like um, watching TV or dining or even sleeping. Um, for coding, um, we're using the OpenCV library from processing for this uh, face detection. However, um, it could be a really a um, pain in the ass for coding because uh, it works on Mac, but um, somehow the, the audio recording is um, not working on Mac operating system. So <coughs> we tried the Windows operating system, but uh, well, then it's some kind of um, a lot of problem this. So uh, we're still using OpenCV, however, uh, we use um, earphone instead of uh, speaker, so uh, somehow we lost um, our original proposal in uh, some kind of extent, and uh, now we are using um, a, na a Google service named uh, STT Library from Processing for voice control, and uh, it worked quite well. It um, ignores um, all kinds of uh, accents and uh, can recognize uh, different um, voices quite quickly. Um, however, it, uh, uh, it's not working well in a noisy environment uh, for such an uh, exhibition, so um, I think it could be done better in, if given enough time, but um, yeah, um, it's working now. Um, basically, we use wood as a material to develop its uh, body, and I also uh, use wood to uh, create a form, form a base for the for this mask. And uh, initially, we uh, choose perspex to create the mask, but um, at last we found that uh, the servo can cannot actually uh, bear its um, weight. So then, um, I've looked for uh, plastic as a substitute. So its um, surface is not as shining as per spec, but uh, the servo can run uh, smoothly when uh, wear with the mask. fun and amazing and I'm sure this is definitely the future we can see and the problem is yeah can, 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 yeah. I, can I say the problem yeah cool yeah because of course, of course, sure. it's, do, it's doing a good job to detect the face movement but I expect to you know if it can detect my eyes like if I'm looking at like, my left side yeah. and you detect it and uh, just give me feedback reaction yeah that's much cooler
Uh, I think it's really great. There's a kind of interactivity dimension, but um, maybe part of the issue is also about um, if you're talking about emotion. I mean, I'm in history theory of architecture that maybe your emotional uh, responses could be more different rather than having like a one response, two responses. Um, I did my degree at MIT, so I'm really interested in this stuff. And um, I would have to say like maybe there's some more emotions that are in between, like oh I'm bored or oh, I'm really happy or I'm really play me something scary, you know. Yeah, so I think I think it's a great um, interactivity. I don't know how you structured the how do you say the frame? <laughs> yeah, like uh, the way you actually focus in on the face, the facial recognition. Um, it'd be good to. I, I saw it. Uh, it reminds me of an installation I saw by Stellark, where you could actually type uh, questions to this thing, and it had a few um, Easter eggs. Like if you if you typed in "Sing me a song" and start, started singing Ness and Dorma or something like that. But um, it reminds me of that kind of thing, and it's nice that I can actually talk to it rather than having to type it through. It gives yeah. it a bit more um, interaction. Yeah, of course. a bit more direct interaction. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Thank you. Got it. Thanks so much. go even further with a sort of the farce of it that actually the, com the comedic element that the playing with humor and satire that it's not actually trying to have a serious conversation with you but actually it's very playful I think that's a direction you could definitely work towards